on this channel we only give you updates that concerns chelsea and chelsea alone all right guys um welcome back to another segment and i hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend yes chelsea versus wolves or will i say wolves versus chelsea tomorrow being sunday is not going to be an easy game it's not going to be an easy game because i know that we all are expecting chelsea to win and wolves fans they are also expecting their club to win because after sunday the next day is christmas is 25th we all be celebrating christmas very well so everybody wants to be happy Wolves fans want to be happy chelsea fans want to be happy but i'm here to do a breakdown for you a breakdown preview for you over the game and players who should be expecting according to the formation board and according to the players that are available but before i push forward to everything i want to talk about please kindly like this video share subscribe follow this page because on this channel i only give you updates that concerns chelsea and chelsea alone my name is peters yes um wolves versus chelsea um looking at the premier league table so far um wolves are 13 position chelsea still remain 10th position that is currently right now chelsea remain 10th position with 22 points while wolves having 19 points and if wolves should win chelsea in their home wolves should be having 22 points with chelsea but they won't top chelsea but they will be having 22 points with chelsea well everything de depends depends on the, the the number numbers of goals they will get and the way chelsea fans are still standing our ground saying that chelsea should not go to wolves home with a draw or they should not come back with a draw or come back with a lose that game is a winning for us is a winning for us this one with the at the expect them i know say normally i always say something about when you expect chelsea to do something or when you expect Chelsea to beat a particular team that is that thing that that is that time that you see chelsea messing around with that particular team you understand just like the way we expected them to beat uh, these people newcastle expected them to beat brentford but coming to those people's uh, territory they messed up you understand so i believe that uh wolves won't be different wolves will be different not won't be different will be dif different because if i say won't be different that means i'm expecting something different from what i'm saying but you show me say chelsea is supposed to win that game because uh, it would be bad say my club lose a day before christmas then me can't they go celebrate christmas with a grudge mind it would be very very bad i know the way we would be very emotional chelsea fans are very emotional let's tell ourselves the truth we are very very emotional you understand so they just need to step up their game against wolves tomorrow because all we want from them is winning nothing more nothing less we don't want excuse because i i don't see reason why pochettino will give me excuse against wolves he has those amounts of player he has those players that he wants those players that are available can give him winning take it or leave it Wolves does not does not have the kind of qualities we have. Take it too, and their performance this period has not really been top notch. Then they like Nepal, they they uh, fluctuate. You understand? But our last meeting with them at Milok Stadium was one zero. They they won us one zero. Their home. They our last meeting with them. They won us one zero. And before the before we met them in their home, we won them three zero. So it's not going to be that easy with Wolves. One thing you should know is that Premier League of last season and Premier League of this season is different. The as as the season comes and go, the more the league gets harder and tougher. You understand? Unlike before, when during the time of AC and then Mikel, then all of them, Fer, uh, Fernandez, um, Ronaldo, then when they mean they marry you, uh, Adebayo, then all of them, Thierry, Harry, you can predict that Arsenal will win. You can predict that Chelsea will win this one, but coming in this 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 time around it's not like that nobody's playing here everybody is 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 will i say everybody is damn serious in all areas so chelsea need to pick a three point it should not pick they need to get a three point from wolves we need that winning by all means whether they like it or not remember i told you guys that this december they just need to get hold of every point they can get hold of whether home or, or away they need they just need to win it 
see Crystal uh, Palace and Brighton yesterday. Crystal Palace draw, uh, I mean, day for yesterday, they draw uh, Brighton 1 1. And after Wolves, you are playing Crystal Palace. You understand? Though you, you cannot use the atmosphere that they use against Brighton, and you cannot use it, the same atmosphere that they will use against Chelsea. That is the same pressure, the same tempo. It won't be the same. You understand? Definitely, any small club will want come and once they jump Chelsea, everybody they stand still because they know the current situation of the club right now. But if Chelsea, mean they do their best, they they win games. They are the top for the table. Even though get as this small team go come to fear go first hold them before they start to play. That was how Chelsea was. Anything we want to play Chelsea, you don't they fear before you start to play. So with your fear, Chelsea go read them, deal with you. But now nobody fears Chelsea. Everybody believe that they can play Chelsea. You understand? But that is what we are we are we are fighting seriously for uh, against. We don't want all these clubs to see us like that, like team they, that they can ride on anytime, anywhere. You understand? So definitely we should be getting the three points from Wolves. I will not say my club will lose. No. I can't tell you Chelsea will lose, but we should be getting a three point from Wolves. Then talking about players that will be available, just like what we have been getting so far, that Lavia has been training, but I'm not sure if he's going to play. I cannot tell you if he's going to be available. You understand? So it's just we should just stick to the ones that are going to be available, which you have heard so far. Eh? We should just stick to those ones. So players that will be, will be available and according to the formation board which I have here, which I want to draft out for you guys, if I'm to use via our previous game in the Carabao Cup um, against Newcastle, what we played, against that formation was not bad. But the only thing bad about that formation was that the Sassy's win because the Sassy was not really, really moving. It was not pushing the ball. So it was really stressing that wing, making Sterling not really useful at all in that position. But let's see how let's see what the formation board have for us today definitely we are always sticking to our normal four defenders three midfielders then three attackers you understand we always stick to this movement you get me so these defenders now definitely gusto is fully formed is fully fit so definitely we should be expecting malo gusto tomorrow we should be expecting gusto to play tomorrow then yeah we should be expecting Thiago Silva by the shield and Kobe. but in case this guy still mess up do Johnson again as him do against uh, uh, Newcastle because this guy really made a lot of mistake against Newcastle he made a lot of mistake Gondi as if Gondi confused for that wing when they play so if he go there like that then they should bring in I am missing but I am missing I know that one of the things we push they consider when it comes to defense now height they like defenders we get height in like players we get height where well, where well. that is why i see people like body shield in like him because body shield get height if you know if you stretch you understand so well let's just stick with lewi kowi over here then over here we should be having body shield tiago silva malo gusto if he plays me this i'm okay in the defense side then coming to the midfield um Normally, we should be having our Enzo, uh, Casado, and Galaga. Please, he should not push Enzo to attack him midfield. Let him bring him back to this position. Let him do his thing. You understand? Let him be in charge. But don't push him back here. Pushing him to this place more like you are putting more workload on him. You get me? I know say to him if he play here, but let him be here. You understand? So we we'll stick to this plan, what we have here stick to this plan or if Porsche want to change something different drop Enzo play Parma yeah why we play Casado and Galaga we bring Parma then we stick to Sterling Jackson and Mudrik why second half Kunku should step in once Kunku should step in then we have to drop one of these guys they will have to drop one of these guys or they will drop this man from Kunku that means if you are dropping this man from Kunku, that means you have to play in Kunku as a first nine against Wolves. But everything depends on what the coach wants. But that is what, according to the way me, I want it. Kowi, Badishil, Silva, Gusto, 
Galaga, Casado, Palmer, Stanley, Mudrick, and Jackson. The second half, Nkunku can come in. You understand? So that is it. Well, I will not drop score line, but I believe that they know what to do. You understand? Chelsea players, they know what to do. They know what we want. So they should do the needful tomorrow against these people. Because I don't want to complain. We don't want to frown our face. You understand? All we just want is we, 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 no matter what. All we just want is to win, 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 no matter what. You get me? So Chelsea is up to you guys now to do the needful against Wolves this Sunday so that see this smile with my face since on Tuesday. Make it no turn to Fran. I know I'm Fran. You understand? Thank you very much and drop your thoughts and also drop your own possible lineup which you think is preferable for you to for Chelsea to start. You understand? Thank you very much and don't forget to like the video, share, subscribe, follow this page because on this channel I only give you updates that concerns Chelsea and Chelsea alone. First five people to drop comments on this video, I'll be giving them, I'll be subbing their network, I'll subscribe for them. First five people to drop comments, good comments and indicate with numbers saying you are number one, number two. First five people, I'll be subscribing those people's phone. Thank you very much.